Number 11, consider the solutions presented. And then we have letter A. Which of the following sketches best represents the ions in a solution of FeNO3-3 aqueous? And then for letter B, it says write a balanced chemical equation showing the products of the dissolution of FeNO3-3. Okay, so in order to answer this question, uh, I guess the best, in the best form, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write down letter B first, and then from that knowledge, we are going to be able to, to pick out which of these solutions is the right one. Now, they did already tell us that FeNO33 is aqueous. This AQ means that it is aqueous. And aqueous means that you are in water. So by definition, anytime that you see AQ, you know that whatever your compound is, is has been thrown in with a bunch of water. And if that's the case, the H2O is always going to be your solvent. So this compound in question, the iron 3 nitrate, the FeNO32, is the solute. And together, the FeNO32 with the water is the solution. So you got solute, which gets dunked into the solvent, and then the thing, the whole thing combined, is the solution. So we're going to write that chemical equation to just break down the dissolution. Dissolution just means that you are, you know, breaking down, breaking down into ions. Especially if you are in an aqueous solution, if you have an ionic compound, right, the ions are going to be predominant. So we have Fe, uh, Fe, NO3, 3, and we'll write the state here, aqueous. It's always good to uh, get into the habit of if they give you states, just give it right back, especially if that's your final answer. And now we know that this is going to be dissolved, dissolution, breaking down into its ions. So this is going to be basically 100%. You don't have to put the 100%, but just to show you that we're not at equilibrium here or anything, that this is going to transfer into your uh, ions. Now, this is going back, back to, you know, back to basics where we made compounds, right? We took those ions and we crisscrossed the charges to get out the uh, compound. So we're going to basically reverse that. There was one Fe and three NO3s. Use those as your, um, your guide to crisscross back up. This one crisscrosses back up, telling me that the NO3 was a negative one charge. And nitrate is always going to be a negative one charge. And then this three crisscrossed up to tell me that the iron was a plus three. So I got Fe, which is a plus three. And then I got plus the NO3 uh, minus one. And let's just say that they are aqueous, right? Because if your initial ionic compound was aqueous, these ions are also going to be aqueous. They're also going to be in water. I'm just going to get rid of this and that. Whoop. Where'd that three go? We've got to put it back. But now remember, once you have an equation, make sure that it's balanced. You have three NO3s. Maybe I'll draw that in blue got three NO3s, so we definitely need a three in front of the ions. When you're drawing your ions, you never put subscripts anymore. The subscripts, the quantities, always become your coefficients. And then you only got one iron, so one iron. And this is your final answer for B. Now we're going to use that information to find out which one of these is the correct one. Now, we know that just from what we were talking about, that this, the FeNO33, is no longer going to exist. It is going to be broken down, it's going to be dissolved into its ions. And the ions, the Fe3+, and the NO3-1, exist in the solution. 
So first off, we want to find a solution in which we don't see this as one unit. We want to see the breakdown of FEs and NO3s. So for example, for this one, this is the FE in the middle surrounded by, and maybe I'll just put that right, here's this element here, that's the FE, and it's surrounded by the three NO3s. I'm, I know this because I'm looking at the colors, right? There's three oxygens, this has to be the oxygens, O, 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 and you got N in the middle, and the FE is this guy in the middle. So you got Fe, you have NO3, there's three of them around the iron. This is if it was by itself, Fe, NO3, 3. But we just said that in aqueous solutions, they're not going to be together. We need to see the ion separately. So this one is not it. Now over here, I do see that the iron, right, these, have released itself. So I'm going to now write down that this is, I guess, I guess we should have put the charges for these as well. The iron is now by itself and it looks like the nitrates are together. So this could potentially be one of them. And then if I look at Z, we still, we have the same exact idea. It seems like the iron has been released and the NO3s are by itself. But now which one is a better representation? Now there's a big idea here, especially when we're talking about charges. And I guess, I mean, it's, it's a, a famous saying, I guess, in real life, but does it really a work? I, I would have to, you know, argue that. But in chemistry, for certain, opposites attract. Um, which means that the charges, if you're a negative, you want to be with a positive. If you're a positive, you want to be with a negative. But I would say, I would argue in real life that, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be attracted to someone completely opposite of me, right? And that's not good. Different values, different morals, that would just be hard, right? So just always make sure to choose your friends wisely, right? You would want to be with like-minded people. Okay, that's a life lesson for today with Christina. Uh, let's get back to chemistry. But just like we said, in chemistry, definitely opposites attract. So let's zoom in on this going on over here. Now, when we draw out the nitrate, right, there's the, the uh, nitrogen in the middle surrounded by the three oxygens. And it seems like if I just draw another one, the nitrogen is oxygen, 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 and then you got the nitrogen, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Now, between nitrogen and oxygen, which one is more electronegative? It's oxygen, by a little bit, but oxygen is more electronegative according to the, the trend on the periodic table. So if oxygens are more electronegative, it's got a more of a negative uh, charge, you can say, right? So if the oxygen is going to be the negative one of the molecule, well, the, the ion NO3 minus, that means that the nitrogen is going to be the general positive. But if we look over here, look at this. You got oxygen, which is negative, and maybe I'll just draw it, you know, over here. You got an oxygen that's negative next to another oxygen that's negative next to another ox oxygen that's negative. This, mm-mm, this is too, too negative. They would want to repel each other, not come together, right? So that's why this one, eh, not going to be the answer. But if we look over here, everything is nice and neat spread out right? We have the N bounded by the oxygens, right? If I just did that here, we have positive surrounded by the negatives, right? And the iron is positive. It's got a plus three. And the negative oxygens are closer to the positives. And maybe I'll just draw one more, but it seems like opposites are 
kind of a little bit attractive here, but it's completely broken up uh, because you also have um, interactions in the water. So this one would be the best representation of the uh, solution, the dissolved solution. So which of the best sketches represents the ions? It is sketch Z. And this question is complete. All right. So what'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Um, thank you for viewing the videos. Thank you for being a part of this this community. Uh, we are growing. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you for allowing us to get the word out there to all over the world. Uh, that can use this free educational resource in their classrooms. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, I mean, free education for all, right? And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> and you guys, you guys got a study buddy, right? So keep with the videos, keep crushing it, keep working hard. Good luck on your tests, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.